Hey guys, what's up? Lucas the Machine Matisse. He is returning February 28th, and he hopes to get a shot at that vacant w WBO um, super lightweight title that Chris Algieri had to vacate when he faced, um, when he moved up to to face Manny Pacquiao for the welter, WBO welterweight title. I still don't know why Chris Algieri got robbed of that title and had to move off of it when Floyd Mayweather uh, and others uh, had to vacate, didn't have to vacate their title. Like, like, for instance, how Floyd Mayweather can hold on to his 154-pound title when he's fighting at 147. But anyway, that's a different topic. Um... But anyway, um, so he's he is returning February twenty eighth, and Lucas Matisse says that there is no venue yet, there is no opponent that has been mentioned yet. But there are two or three, there are two to three opponents being discussed. He says right now he didn't mention any names though, but he wants. Hopefully, he says the next fight will be for the vacant WBO super lightweight title or light welterweight title. Um, so he is um, the number, no, actually he is the number two ranked um, fighter um, for the for that title, for the WBO super lightweight title. Actually, Boxing Scene says he's the number one um, contender for that title, but actually I went on WBO and... Uh, the website WBO Boxing, and I looked at the contenders and the the rating rankings and stuff, and it says that Chris Algieri is the number one contender for the W vacant WBO title belt, and that would make sense. Chris Algieri has to be either number one or number two. I could see him being number two since he lost to Manny Pacquiao, but he did he didn't lose at one forty, so maybe. He still should. He shouldn't even. He should still have that title, in my opinion. I don't know why they made him uh, give up that title, Chris Algieri, to face Manny Pacquiao. I, I, I should have thought they. It should have been both titles on the line, in my opinion. But anyway, Chris Algieri lost his title. But so, whatever the case, if Matisse is number one or number two, on the official website, he says Lucas Matisse is the number two contender for the WBO. Uh, WBO super lightweight belt and Chris Algieri is the number one contender for that belt. So is Chris Algieri being discussed as one of the opponents? Could be, who knows. Um, I don't think Chris Algieri is with top rank. I'm not sure. I think he was co-promoted by top rank, but I don't think that's his official promoter. Um, so maybe that fight could happen. Um, uh, Matisse versus Algieri. Or the number three contender is Rusan Pravonikov. That would be a really good... That would be a great fight. Lucas the Ma the Machine Matisse versus Ruslan the Siberian Rocky Pravonikov. I can already see it. That fight would be huge. And Lucas Matisse would probably get fighter of the year candidate again if he fought Ruslan Pravonikov. Just like uh, in 2013... Um, Bradley and Pravonikov got the fight of the year, I think. I think. I'm I'm not really sure now. It might have been... I, I don't know. It might have been. Or it might have been Rios Alvarez. I, I really... I forget who was 2013. But I know both guys have been nominated for fight of the year. I know Matisse won fighter of the year with John Molina Jr. this year. Or the year that just passed in 2014. In 2013, I think it was Pravonikov and Bradley who won the fight of the year, but I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but anyway, we all know it would be a war, and both guys got strong or strong-willed fighters. Both got iron chins, and someone's either going to break down and get knocked out. The, the fight's going to end, in my opinion. It's it, it, If no one gets knocked out, the ref is going to have to step in at, at some point because there, it's just going to be a war if that fight happens. Then the number four contender, Jason Pagara from the Philippines. Um, he's And then you got Humberto Soto. 
He's the NABO champion from Mexico. Thomas DeLorme. You got um, Leonardo Zapavina from Australia. Mikey Garcia. Um, Chad Bar Bar Bennett. And Ak Sak Nakzaryan. Those are the top 10 contenders I just, I just mentioned right there. And really... Um, oh yeah, Lucas Matisse could maybe get a not not get a vacant, not go for that vacant title, but maybe go for a title that someone already has. It could be Danny Garcia, Lamont Peterson, um, either of those two it could be one of the opponents. But if he goes for that vacant title, hopefully he'll be facing someone like Rusan Pervanikov. That's my number one pick for Lucas Matisse to face. For that vacant title or Chris Algieri uh, those are the two fighters I'd like to see him fight out of the top 10 contenders I just read Mikey Garcia ain't fighting anytime soon Thomas Delorme, Delorme nah don't really want to see that I want to see Matisse versus Pervanikov for that vacant WBO title or Matisse versus Ar Algieri but anyway the machine is back he's returning and He's going to be returning February 28th and hopefully a title shot um, either for the vacant WBO title they're talking about that Chris Algieri had to vacate or um, an actual title that someone already has, the WBC, WBA, or, um, or IBF um, with Danny Garcia, the rematch, or Leomond Peterson. So anyway... Um, We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Anyway, the top three opponents I'd like to see um, Matisse face, or the, the, top, the top guys I'd like to see Matisse fa face is number one, Ruslan Pravanikov, number two, Danny Garcia, number three, Chris Algieri, number four, Lamont Peterson. Those would be the fights I'd want Matisse to fight, and those are the most meaningful fights for the fans and for him because they all got titles besides Chris Algieri. But then again, if he faced Chris Algieri, it's probably going to be for that vacant title. So all of those fighters I named were title shots. So can't wait. He's one of my favorite fighters. And uh, yeah, um, subscribe if you like my videos. Power Up Boxing out.